Okay, let's try this out again. Lab six. Lab six, you've got six motors. Sequential starting, sequential stopping. Okay, I've done the timing diagram for three motors. I'm not showing the timers in here. I'm not showing the on delay timers and off delay timers. What I'm showing is what it looks like outside. We've got our start button, got our stop button, we've got our three motors, and you have your delay indicator. Okay? So, push the start button, we have our internal coil sys run, which is, turns high and starts the whole sequence. Okay? Motor one turns on immediately. Delay time later, motor two will turn on. Delay time later, motor three will turn on and the system will be all running at that point. While the motors are starting up, when sys run is on and motor three is off, during that time, that's our on delay period, right? So look at this, you know that we are in a delay period when motor one is on or sys run is on, right? On delay, sys run is on, and motor three is off. There's our on delay. Okay? Now we come up here and hit the stop button. Sys run turns off. Motor three turns off immediately. Delay period starts for motor two. Then motor two shuts off. Delay period starts for motor one and then motor one shuts off. If sys run is off and motor one is on, that's our off delay, isn't it? Okay? So you can expand this out to six motors, make it longer, whatever you have to do here for all six motors, but it's basically replicating this and making it longer. Okay? Now when you're putting together your software, Putting together your program, you need to do it in blocks. Okay? You need to have everything set up in blocks because if you start trying to throw a little bit here, a little bit here, I see sometimes I'll see somebody put a start stop and they'll put a timer in there. We already know that timers don't work in the on out in the start stop rungs, right? Uh -huh. Okay? Then the other things I'll see are on delay timers and off delay timers in the same rung, and then Try and stick your motor out there. Okay, we already know that we want another output control to take care of the overloads, right? Because we can't put an overload after an off delay, right? right? So if we do have an overload condition, we want to shut everything down. Okay, so set this up in functional blocks. Start with your sys run. You come over here, you've got your group of five on-delay timer rungs. Five rungs, each with your on-delay timers. Each of them driving little memory coils, internal coils, M1, M2, M3, to let you know when that timer is on. Five off-delay timer rungs. Okay? Then you have your set of six combinatorial output rungs. Okay? Adjust down that, down here, look at that. Okay. We've got our combinatorial output rungs. You're going to take an output from one timer and an output from an off delay timer. So you have an on delay timer and an off delay timer. You've got your overload. That'll turn on your motor output. And you keep going through this. Motor number one, we do not have an on delay for it, right? No on delay, motor one comes on immediately. So this will be instead of TX on, that'll be sys run. And it's up corresponding off delay overload, motor one. The next one, motor two, is going to have an on delay timer output, a off delay timer, the overload, motor two. Okay, I guess I should put this as instead of motor one, we'll make that motor. Z. Okay? Z is either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Okay? So then you group all your outputs together there. Okay? 
Then at the very end you have your indicator outlets for your delay time or your overload indicator or whatever the case may be. Okay? So let me go and pull this down and go through that and show you some of the code. Okay. Go ahead and hit the lights. Okay. You can see here I'll start off with my start stop, sys run, my first coil up there at the top. Inserted a comment here, start of on delay timer sequencing. Then I have my timers. I've only shown two timers up there. Okay? Got my memory coils over there. T1 on, T2 on, T3 on, T4 on. Okay? Then I'll move down here. And you'll see, here's my off delay timers again. Another comment in there. Separating those out for me. Okay? I've got my off delay timers here. And I don't have a PV set for that one. So let's take care of that one. You have the same address for both timer one. For timer one, why do I have the same address? Because I didn't take care of that. So let me go down there and drop. Good catch. Timer one, timer two, timer three, timer four. Okay? Now, at the very end, we get down combinatorial logic for our output. Sys run, timer, timer, timer. And you've got motor one, motor two. Okay? So now again, you need to use your timing diagram to figure this out. Okay? You can look at your timing diagram. All these timers are all set to the same time. Okay? You don't have a five second, then a 10 second, then a 15 second, then a 20 second timer, then a 30 second timer. Okay, they're all set to the same amount of time, both on delay and off delay. Okay, and all look at this, look at the timing diagram, and you should be able to come up with what the triggers are. The big hint is looking at the timing diagram that I put up there for the delay indicator. If you can look at the delay indicator and understand that delay indicator output, you can come up with what controls your off delay. Okay. Right. Questions? What is the start of the, the, the comments? Where did you write that? Okay. To get a comment, again, you can you go up to the top up here, the little part that says insert comment. Let's see if that's up there. Okay. You can zoom in here. I'm going to zoom in. And that that little icon there is insert comment. Click on that, all right, and I'm going to come down over here, stick it right there, okay. You're going to get this, click on it, go down there, and you're going to see that thing right there. Then I just start typing my comment. Okay, so you can type your comment, and it said this is a comment about the next rung, so I can remember what it is supposed to be doing. That's the whole part about comments. Somebody else comes up later on and looks at, what kind of trick logic is he doing? You can explain it, and someone can look at it, and get an idea of what it's supposed to be doing. Okay?